Hi everyone, welcome back to Gido. Today we will show you how to replace the LCD screen and touch assembly on the Samsung Galaxy A51 mobile phone. The LCD screen on device has suddenly stopped working. We believe it is due to the water test. To start, we need to have the right tools to proceed with the repair which you can find in the description. First, let's start with the rear cover removal. For this, we are using a heating pad. Place the rear cover side on the heating pad and select the mobile phone heating option and leave it till heating completes. Alternatively, you can use a heat gun or hair dryer. Once the heating has completed, use a suction cup to create an opening between the frame and the rear cover. Next, we can insert a plastic cup pry tool or something similar to cut the adhesive around the back cover. Now take out the rear cover and sim tray, then undo 15 screws on the back cover frame. Next, using a plastic carpry tool, create an opening to separate the back cover frame. Be gentle and work around on the edges to release the plastic clips. Take out the frame and disconnect the battery connector on the top left and the LCD connector on the bottom right. Before installing the new screen to the body, connect the screen and test the screen and its functionality. For this, pull out the power and volume flex cable from the back cover frame. By using a tweezer, gently peel out the line. Next, connect the new screen to the logic board and turn on the device by clicking the battery plug and button. Place the power flex on the logic board and touch the contact by using a pry tool. Next, test the screen and its functionality, and once the verification has passed, turn off the phone.
Then again disconnect the LCD and battery plugs and disconnect both ends on the main flex and take it out. Next disconnect the antenna and undo the screw to pull out the logic board. Next, apply a little heat to remove the broken LCD and touch screen by the frame. For this, you can use a heating pad, heat gun or hair dryer. Here we are using a heating pad. Face the screen side on the pad and select the mobile phone heating option. Once the heating has done, by using a suction cup, gently lift the screen to create a gap. And next, by using a plastic car pry tool, gently move around the phone to release the adhesive within the frame and LCD. This process may take some time and then pull out the LCD screen by using a pry tool. Next, add double sided adhesive or B7000 glue on the frame edges where the LCD is seating. Next, remove the tapes and insert the LCD flex through the opening and then place the screen securely on the frame. Next, add binding clips or rubber bands to bind the screen with the frame. Next, place the logic board by adding the screw and then plug the antenna, LCD, battery and main flex connectors to the logic board. Next, on the back of frame, place the power and volume flex cable. Next, secure the back of frame with the body. Make sure the plastic clips have fastened and power on the phone to verify the functionality. Next, secure the back of frame by adding 15 screws and the SIM tray.
Before installing the main back cover, ensure it has enough glue on it. If not, use B7000 glue or new double sided back cover adhesive. Once again, we are adding binding clips to tie in the back cover and LCD with the body. If not, you can use rubber bands and leave them for some time. Hope you have enjoyed the screen replacement guide. Let us know if you have any questions. Please like, share and comment on our videos. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button.